Hi, this is Peter Julian of the Whole Brain Learning Institute and Brainspeak.com. And today I want to talk to you about the three killers of self-esteem. The human ego is a fragile thing. As children, we create beliefs, values that researchers tell us may dictate our destiny to our last day on Earth. To that end, the creation of a healthy ego, including how to improve self-esteem, is imperative to the optimal functioning of our personality and a healthy outlook on life and the world around us. Solid self-esteem is an integral part of personal happiness and fulfilling relationships. It's what we value, love, accept, and appreciate about ourselves and is echoed in the way that we interact with others and confront the challenges of life. So, how critical is good self-esteem? As illustrated in a recent news story at abcnews.com, high self-esteem is in reality a strong and accurate forecaster of overall success, strong interpersonal relationships, and appropriately high motivation. High self-worth and self-confidence are important forecasters of happiness and general well-being. On the other hand, low self-esteem can predict a lack of success, out-and-out -out hostility, crime, adolescent pregnancy, many forms of emotional illness, hopelessness, and even more. What is the source of low self-esteem? An exhaustive analysis of self-esteem will show it to be a highly complex subject influenced by many factors, but simply put, reduced self-esteem is driven by our unconstructive innermost thoughts. The exact quality of our personal thoughts, beliefs, and feelings are eventually mirrored as part of our behavior. Consequently, if you possess low self-worth, it's precisely how you will conduct yourself and therefore shape your own perceived value as well as eventually influence the perception of others around you. The Three Killers of Self-Esteem There are literally thousands of books and personal development programs that are designed to show you how to improve your self-esteem. Some are very good and others, well, not so much. But over the years, I've found that even the best-meaning, most intelligent authors tend to miss what I call the three killers of self-esteem. Now, I know that killers is a pretty harsh term, but when it comes to the lifeblood of your personality, these three factors do more to destroy your level of self-worth than almost anything else. Here's an overview. Killer number one, living with fear, guilt, and worry. There is nothing more damaging to an otherwise healthy self-concept than living with fear of the future, guilt about the past, and worry about the present. These three emotional vampires will, over time, drain you of your energy, your happiness, and your soul. And if you are saddled with these issues, you may have already realized that they all share a common origin. They are all a result of perception. Although getting out from under the burden of fear, guilt, and worry may appear to be impossible, when you begin to see their cause as simply errors in perception, then you're in a position to take control of their demise. Killer number two. Being disconnected from your authentic self. Your authentic self is the real you, the core essence of your personality and value. As we grow and evolve from children, through mostly external factors, parents, peers, media, etc., we lose touch with that essence and begin to adapt our identities to societal models rather than rely on our innermost knowing to tell us who we really are. Like a leaf blowing in the wind, we will follow an ever-changing course, never developing a strong sense of self-identity. The ability to connect with your true self is powerful and a core requirement of strong self-worth. Killer number three, lacking the power of love. The inability to accept and love yourself for who you are is critical to a healthy and strong self-esteem. As in the example above, once you have fully connected with who you are, you must learn to accept and love that uniquely special creation that you are. The inability to love yourself is also reflected in the inability to accept others for who they are a core component of strong, supportive relationships. In summary, the missing keys to building self-esteem and a strong sense of identity are to eliminate the burden of fear, guilt, and worry, reconnect with your authenticity, and finally, accept and love yourself just the way you are. The way to do this is simple, but not always easy. 
because as I mentioned earlier, to change your level of self-worth, you must first and foremost improve the quality of your thoughts. By focusing on removing these three killers of your self-worth, you can radically change your thinking and the way you go through life. The good news is that now you can shortcut your way to defeat these three killers and save months of struggle. I strongly encourage you to check out http colon slash slash brainstreamcd.com the amazing three-part system that has been proven over and over again by its users to dramatically improve self-esteem. Just type in http colon slash slash brainstreamcd.com into your browser or simply click on the link in the description below to find the fastest way to defeat the three killers of self-esteem. This is Peter Julian, and thanks for watching.